NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, Andrew, we had an interesting couple of days. We needed the rain jacket. We needed the yeah. fog lights this morning, but we're exactly. trading all that for some sun, you say? Yeah, things are brightening up. So we have a nice afternoon, some sunglasses weather. I think that continues this weekend. A really nice stretch of days ahead. I know we had the rain the last couple of days. Yes, we did need it, but we'll certainly uh, look forward to quite a bit of sunshine and some drier weather as we move along. Want to show you how things look in the big picture on the storm tracker. High pressure is coming in from the north and west, so that's why we have a dry day, quite a bit of sun. Today, the low pressure disturbance that brought the rain the last couple of days is shifting east into the Canadian Maritimes. And then we have what's left of Helene, a lot of heavy rain and some ongoing flooding issues into quite a bit of the deep south parts of the Ohio Valley this afternoon. So want to zoom in and show you where the heavy rain is basically from the Nashville area into a lot of Kentucky towards Charleston, West Virginia, and then into parts of Virginia and North Carolina, especially is where the heaviest of the rain is now see all these green boxes these are all active flash flood warnings a lot of them towards the uh, the spine of the southern Appalachian Mountains want to show you 24 hour rainfall totals estimated by rate by uh, the radar as well you can see into western North Carolina western South Carolina six to ten inches plus in the last 24 hours that's why there's still so much uh, ongoing flash flooding in those areas, two to four inches plus towards Nashville, and then even right towards the Atlanta metro area, over a half foot of rain estimated by radar. So still an active flash flood situation in that area. In terms of Helene, the latest, it's a tropical storm, wind at 45 miles per hour. It's expected to track north and west through tonight. And then basically this weekend, it's not going very far. It'll just kind of stall out over Kentucky. We're thinking the strong wind threat will be diminishing the next couple of days. And the threat for flooding rain will be diminishing this weekend as well, but that'll be a gradual trend. So I think still some heavy rain, still some flood likely into the day tomorrow into parts of Kentucky, Tennessee, the Ohio Valley. Into our region though, as I mentioned, it's beautiful this afternoon. A lot of sunshine, especially for central and southern areas. A little extra cloud cover mixing in for the Champlain Valley, especially towards the Northeast Kingdom right now, but an enjoyable afternoon. Temperatures warming up to the mid and upper 60s, even a 70 right now down the road in Springfield. So you can see quite a bit of sun mixing with clouds the rest of the afternoon. And as we look ahead to tomorrow, I think um, with Helene well off to our south and west, we're not expecting any rain, but I think there will be some of the high clouds from Helene that try to shift in through the day tomorrow. So we'll have sunshine mixing with clouds, but we stay dry on Saturday. We'll be on the warm side of things as well. Looks like on Sunday we'll have quite a bit of cloud cover to contend with. Still some intervals of sunshine will mix in. And we do have the chance for a spot shower Sunday, especially into southern Vermont in particular. So here's the weekend planner. You can see low to mid 70s both days. A lot of sunshine just mixing with clouds for Saturday. Partly sunny on Sunday. A chance for a few showers, especially south on Sunday. But it's a mostly dry weekend. Temperatures a little warmer than average. So pretty enjoyable. Check out early next week. Monday looks nice as well. Partly sunny mid 70s. Just a spot shower chance on Tuesday. By the way, next Tuesday is October 1st. And then we track a cold front likely coming in on Wednesday. So lots of clouds, some showers possible that day. Perhaps a few showers linger into Thursday, but mid and late parts of next week, we cool off quite a bit back into the low to mid 60s. Adrian.